testing the uh, testing the autofocus. Lovely. Look at that. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, YouTube. What's going on? It's your boy, Joey Does Tech, and welcome yourselves back to a brand new video. Uh, you might be like, what's going on, Joe? What's happened to your hair? I've put it up. It's getting to the length now where it's a little bit, it's a little bit annoying to have it, have it so everywhere and all, all over the place and looking a bit scruffy. So I thought I'd put it up a little bit, so yeah. So that's why we've got the hair up. Nobody really cares, but I thought I'd just let you know. Welcome yourselves back to part three of the PlayStation Saga. you who haven't actually watched part one or part two of this series I didn't buy one PlayStation I bought two PlayStation ones the bottom line is that one of them didn't work didn't portray an image on a TV when I plugged it in it was listed as faulty on eBay I managed to buy it for I think it was around about seven pounds the other one that I bought was two pounds fifty from reddit from the YouTube comments from my discord big shout out to you guys because I know that you've all tried to help me as much as you can but Man, fair play and there's a lot of credit to be given to the people who know about PCBs and you know advanced soldering and all that stuff because it is just so difficult. So big shout out to all of you guys who tried to help me at least. It's just that you know my peanut of a brain, my almond of a brain of what we've just done, you know the almonds we chucked up, that's how big my brain is. And uh, yeah, it was just quite difficult for me to wrap my head around. So I done the next best thing. I bought another PlayStation to see if I could replicate the error to find out if it was maybe an issue with my TV or one of the cables or something else. So we managed to plug the second uh, PS1 in and we had the exact same issue. There was no image or sound coming from the TV. I took both of the PlayStations apart to see if there was any issues on the motherboards. There was a chip inside one of them, so I don't actually know if that PlayStation is gonna work regardless. So we went for the next best thing. And do you know what that is? We bought a new AV cable, and we also bought AV to HDMI. So what I'm gonna to look to do is plug this bad boy in to one of my monitors and hook the cable up to this, which then plugs in via USB to my PC into my capture card to see if we can get an image on one of the screens with a HDMI port. So first of all, we're gonna use the first AV cable that we got with the original PlayStation that doesn't work to see if it works with HDMI. That way I can see if it's the TV that I have that doesn't work or whether it's the actual cable itself. This is not a fix, this is just basic troubleshooting. Both of the PlayStations were listed as faulty, but we need to try and at least get them on, right? To see what's going on. So here we have PlayStation 1 for test. What you're going to see now is a blue screen on this monitor. Once this monitor goes onto a blue screen, we're going to try and turn the PlayStation on. If it works, it's obviously going to show and play the PlayStation noise. If it doesn't work, it's just going to stay this blue monitor. All right, here we go. Attempt number one. This is the first PlayStation with the old cable, but using the new thing that we have uh, to put it, to output it to HDMI from AV. Here we go. It's spinning up. We have nothing. PlayStation number two we've put in, we've turned on. Is it going to change colour? No, it doesn't. PlayStation one, PlayStation two with the old AV cable going into the HDMI port does not work. So we will turn this one off. The next thing that we need to do is try the new cable that we've got. All right, we're trying a second cable. Now this cable cost me another two pounds. It's exact, it's identical, it's exactly the same, but I'm just thinking, was there a fault with the other one? Man, if this works, you have no idea how happy I'll be. 
However, it's, again, it's not going to be deemed as a fix, really, is it, if it does work? Which is the only upsetting part, I guess? Moment of truth. So, we'll start, we'll start with PlayStation number two. You ready? Here we go. No freaking way. Oh. Oh, yes! Come on! Oh, that's amazing. Look at it. Oh, I don't know what this is. Okay. Okay. It's on. Which means that the fault isn't that the port was wrong. It was the bloody wire. I'm so happy, but at the same time, I'm like, this isn't a fix. This is a port of new wire. Okay. Okay. So now we need to investigate a bit more and find out what the actual issues are with the Playstations themselves, because I know this one turns on. Let's try PlayStation number one. I have put Theme Park World into this one, so if it does work, it'll be good to see it actually load into the game. Apologies about the mess, by the way. Okay, so this one turns on as well. Oh, it's a little bit, oh, it's a little bit janky, okay. I know you guys can probably see some black, black bars going up on your screen. Oh my God, there it is, bro. Look at it. I can hear the disc tray spinning, which is good. Is it going to play the game is the question. Oh, it's blue. Sh this is the game. Wow. This PlayStation seems to be all good by the looks of it. I'm going to switch over completely and I'm going to see if we can get some recorded gameplay so you guys can see exactly what's going on and hopefully hear some things. I can't hear any audio coming out of the monitor, which is, again, a little bit worrying, but um, we'll have a look and see what we can do. I'm just going to switch over. This is amazing. This is unbelievable. I've got my PlayStation 1 controller plugged in, the one that came with the first PlayStation. Let's just see if it works. Oh my god, it works. Do I want to open this park? Yes. Okay. This is bringing back some memories, bro. I'm not going to play too much for you guys because I know it probably won't be the most entertaining thing you're ever going to see in your life, but can't hit anything, which upsets me a little bit. Um, but all the buttons seem to work, man. Like I can, you know, I can pay for different people to look at my park, man. Look at this guy's motivation. That's me right now. Look at this guy's motivation, man. Look, this one here, unbelievable. But he's $110 a month. You guys are getting ripped off, bro. Do I have to put him like inside the park then? Oh, you have to put him inside. And then we can build. I can build a ride, look. Oh, man. I'm going to have some fun with this game, to be fair. I'm going to have some fun with this game. Because why not? Let me let me live back in the year of the year 2000 or whatever year it was that it came out. This is unbelievable. I don't think the PlayStation is going to be overheating. I need to give, I need to give it a proper test run and play it for like a good hour or so, just to make sure that it works. But let's see if the sound works. Okay, hey hey reflection me. So we have now plugged in the AV cable going from the PS1 into the TV. Hopefully this gives us a little bit of sound. Let's see what we're dealing with again. There's the, there's the controller in. Apologies about the mess, it's a little bit dusty in here. Okay, here we go. Ready? Come on, give me that nostalgic sound that I want to hear. First we need to pray it works on the, on the TV, I guess, right? Nothing's coming on, it's a little bit awkward. Should we just make sure we got the right? There it is, okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's turn it off, I need to, <laughs> I need to relive it. Let's go, ready, here we go. Take two. Give me some Oh. That's what we want to hear. And there we go. It's working absolutely fine. Just going to double check that the sound works on the game. But the sound works on the PlayStation, so it means that even that's not too broke, I guess. So this is the second PlayStation, which means that surely it's good. Man, look at this, man. <laughs> Amazing. Unbelievable. Uh, what we're going to try real quick whilst we're recording is just to swap out the PlayStations to see if the first PlayStation we bought is, in fact, working or whether we have a, uh, a bigger underlying issue with this one. PlayStation number one. This is the one we were having issues with to start with, but it was cable. So, is this one going to work? Let's find out. Oh, we have sound. Look at it, isn't it? Just unbelievable, by the way. Okay, so it doesn't go to the second part. It says insert disc. The disc is inserted, brother. What do you mean? Do we have a faulty laser then? 
Is that what we're looking at with this one? Apologies. Let's put that back in. I think we have to restart the console. So I'm just going to reset. And just make sure the disc works fine. So we know the disc isn't faulty because it works in the other PlayStation. That's not an issue. Doesn't go to that second part. Doesn't make the satisfactory noise. So we have an insert disc problem, which uh, which would mean that it's a laser thing. So I'm going to put you guys back to where we were, which is over there on our little homemade studio part, and I'll be back with you in two seconds. So just to wrap up, the first PlayStation One that we bought in the first ever video of Part One, which you should be able to see in the description box below, that PlayStation still does not work. It doesn't recognise the disc that we put in. However, the second PlayStation that we have which we bought for £2.50. Reads the disc fine, the audio works, we're able to play games on it, we capture some footage with it, which is unbelievable, I'm so hyped about that. And I can't really see any issues with it. Like, it was, it was flagged down as faulty, so the next thing that we're gonna do is take it apart and give it a, a good clean. That's gonna be for part four of the video, as well as, hopefully, in the same one, to be able to fix the dish tray for the other one. I need to do a bit more research on that and find out exactly what's going on with it. I'm assuming it might just be a simple fix of buying a new dish tray for a PlayStation 1, but again, I'm not too sure how expensive that's gonna be. So we'll do a bit of research into that and find out find out what our next step is. But we've got one PlayStation working. That's so good. It cost me £2.50. It said it was faulty. There's nothing wrong with it from what I can see. The only thing I haven't tried is a memory card to try and save to a memory card. So I might buy a little cheap memory card and see if we can get that working as well. This video has definitely turned out to be more of a troubleshooting than a fixing. We troubleshooted in the video to find out that the cable in the end was the actual issue. Thank God I didn't buy another TV. So if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you're new here. We're nearly at 500 subs, so that's gonna be unbelievable. Every single milestone we come across on the channel is an amazing achievement for me personally. So if you do wanna subscribe and see more content from myself, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you have any feedback about what we've gone through today, make sure to leave it in the comment section below, and I will see you guys for the next video. Much love, hope everyone's keeping safe, and make sure you have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good evening, wherever you are. Peace out.